Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of open source software with the Genome 48 beta release. Packed with new features, polished apps, and a glimpse into the future of the Linux desktop. If you're a developer, tester, or just a curious user, this update is worth your attention. Let's break it down. Overview of Gnome 48 Beta Released on February 16, 2025, Gnome 48 Beta marks the final stretch toward the stable launch on March 19, 2025. This beta introduces UI, feature, and API freezes, meaning developers can now finalize apps and extensions for compatibility. It's a critical phase for testing, especially with major changes like the Adwaita font becoming default and a fresh wallpaper reflecting GNOME's modern aesthetic. Standout features? Let's highlight the headliners, screen time and well-being. The new well-being panel in settings lets you track usage history and set limits, a feature first teased in GNOME 47 but now fully integrated. Parents and productivity enthusiasts, this one's for you. HDR configuration. Experimental HDR support, introduced in GNOME 44, now has a dedicated toggle in the display settings. Pair this with the new GDCTL command line tool for advanced monitor adjustments. GNOME Display Manager, GDM. Say goodbye to XWayland dependencies in Wayland-only setups. Plus, admins can now display custom messages on the login screen using text files, a neat trick for system notifications. Core App Upgrades. GNOME's apps are getting love too, Papers, replacing events as the default document viewer, Papers supports annotations and formats like PDF, XPS, and even comic archives, CBR, CBZ. It's part of GNOME's push to modernize core tools. Loop. The image viewer now has keyboard shortcuts for editing and drag-to-crop functionality. Raw format support? Still in the works. Maps and calendar. Maps flaunts a redesigned location marker using your system's accent color, while Calendar lets you set time zones for events, perfect for remote teams. Software and text editor, install flat packs via direct links and enjoy a bottom-aligned search bar in text editor for smoother navigation. Under the hood improvements. Beyond the surface, GNOME 48 Beta is all about polish, performance, Faster batch file deletions in Nautilus and zero copy rendering in remote desktop, Vulkan v Appy reduce lag. Android compatibility. GTK's experimental backend now lets GTK apps run on Android devices, a bold step toward cross-platform synergy. Deprecations, X11 and Broadway backends are phased out, pushing Wayland further into the spotlight. Testing the beta. Ready to test? The installer image works best in VMs like GNOME Boxes or on bare metal with EFI support. Note: 4 GB RAM and 128 GB storage are recommended. Avoid daily driver hardware. This is beta software, and issues like black screens on Ventoy have been reported. For developers, this is your window to adapt apps before the March freeze. GNOME 48 is shaping up to be a milestone release, blending productivity, aesthetics, and cutting-edge tech. If you enjoyed this breakdown, smash that like button, subscribe for more Linux updates, and let me know in the comments. What's your favorite Gnome 48 feature? Thanks for watching! See you next time!